Hey listeners, welcome back to this episode of Spectacular Science. I'm your host, Akshay. Welcome to part 3 of 3 of this biome series, where I look into some of the amazing biomes on Earth. In this episode, we're looking into aquatic biomes, and I'm going to take you on a deep dive, literally, so grab your swimsuit and your scuba gear, because we're going inside of these aquatic biomes, and exploring what makes these different aquatic biomes on Earth unique. Let's go! So first of all, what are the three main types of aquatic biomes? Well, the three main types of aquatic biomes are estuary, freshwater, and marine biomes. I'll break them down a little bit in a little bit, but I'm going to first introduce you to why aquatic biomes are amazing. Aquatic biomes are one of the biggest biomes on Earth. That's because over 75% of Earth is covered in water. That's why aquatic biomes are so important, and they're home to most of the life on Earth, actually, because these biomes are so big, and they have some very big biodiversity. Biodiversity means the variety of animals and plants that live in a specific environment. For example, going back to our land biomes episode, which you can check out, it's part two of three of this biome series. In that episode, we discussed that tropical rainforests are some of the most biodiverse land biomes. But with aquatic biomes, it's very, very extremely biodiverse because there's so many different types of animals living there. Alright, let's start off with freshwater biomes. All humans, plants, and animals, they all need fresh water to live, and that's why we depend on freshwater biomes. Freshwater biomes have less than 1% of salt, and the salt occurs naturally in all these oceans. And you can actually check out one of our episodes about why the oceans are salty if you go to our episodes page. It's a really amazing episode where you can learn more about why there's salt in the ocean. But let's get back to freshwater biomes. They have less than 1% of salt, which means that they're not very salty. And that's just taste, but it's also in the chemistry of the water. And since it's not that salty, many different animals can thrive in this habitat. And these animals are specifically adapted for freshwater biomes. These include salmon, many types of fish, and lots of different plants. And this also includes alligators and everything, because wetlands, which are... Uh, part of big part of Florida, actually, the Everglades, Swamp, and Wetlands, those are all freshwater biomes. And this means that this water, this freshwater biomes, hosts a unique variety of life that only exists in these freshwater biomes. Next, we have estuary biomes. Estuary biomes are half and half freshwater and half marine water. And marine water is very salty, and freshwater does not have that much salt in it. And estuary biomes are really unique because they have half salt, half fresh water. So that means that the animals that live there have to survive off of both of these. And they should be able to handle both of these environments. And it's just amazing. And these biomes occur where rivers meet oceans. And so many of those other places where salt and fresh water mix. This is very unique because it hosts a wide variety of plant and animal life that's capable of living in fresh water and in marine water or ocean water. Now lastly, we have marine biomes. Marine biomes are the largest of these aquatic biomes. And they're so large because they are all the oceans and seas in this world. What makes marine biomes really unique is they're very salty and, and their salinity or how much salt is in the water is very high. Because of this, the animals that live there have to be adapted to live in these salty conditions. And since this is such a big area, there's so many different types of animals and so many different types of plants that are able to live in this salty water and marine water, and they're able to survive and have a very high biodiversity of all these animals and plants. And it's just really cool to think about that. Like all these different animals that live in... The oceans, fish, sea turtles, whales, dolphins, and even plants like seaweed, seagrass, all of that. Those are all all the animals that live in these marine biomes. And remember, marine biomes have the most salt of all these biomes. So they're more difficult to live in for most animals. But these animals are able to manage and adapt to this. Before I go, let's review what we learned in this episode. In this episode, we learn about the different aquatic biomes. They are marine, estuary, and freshwater. What makes each biome unique is the types of animals and plants that live there, and that is mostly impacted by the amount of salt in that water. 
and fresh water has less than 1% of salt. Estuary has 50-50 salt. And marine biomes have the most salt of all biomes because that's ocean or seawater. And this really impacts the amount of life that lives in these biomes and the types of life that live in these biomes because this salt plays a huge role in determining what kind of life can live in that biome. And these animals are specifically adapted to live in those biomes. And it's just amazing to think about how biodiverse and how big these, these um, marine biomes and aquatic biomes are because 75% of Earth is water. Isn't that amazing? There's so many different biomes on Earth, and these freshwater uh, and uh, estuary and marine biomes are all just a few of them. And it's just amazing to think about it. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Spectacular Science. Spectacular Science is produced and hosted by me, Akshay J. Raman. Our theme song is by Charan Ramachandran. Please visit my podcast website, SpectacularSci.com, to find interactive activities, articles, blog posts, and all of our episodes. That's SpectacularSci.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening right now. It really encourages me and makes gets you up to date on all of our episodes. Subscribe and share this podcast with your friends and family. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode of Spectacular Science next week. Bye!